Oscar's okay, wherever he is. I'm not abandoning him. I just need to find him. Closed. It's late. Frau Wagner must have gone to bed. Is that you, Katie? Yes, Mom! I mean, who else can it be? Oh, hello, Munchkin. Hey, Mom. Wow. I hope I get to travel around the world, too, when I grow up. The piano that Mom ordered will soon be here. Couldn't bring myself to tell her that I wanted a drum kit instead. <sighs> Mom bought those again. Grandpa and Grandma from New York gave it to me for my last birthday. I really ought to read it, or at least dog ear the pages so it looks like I did.
Is everything okay, Katie? How are you doing with your homework, Munchkin? Are you getting bored, Katie? Because if you are, I can always find a chore or two for you. No, Mom, I'm just fine. I'd love to play with Mom's music box in the living room. Another letter for Dad. Last time it took Mom days to find the strength to open it. Looks like Mom's friends came over again last night. She's been seeing them a lot since what happened to Dad. Maybe too much. Mommy, can I go out and play with Olivia? <sighs> that depends on you, Munchkin. Did you finish your homework? Uh, yeah. More or less. So I can come check it then. Right, Katie? Actually, it looks too cold to go out. I uh, think I'll stay in. Just what I was thinking. <sighs> Not fair. Come on, I've been cooped up in my room for hours. Jeez. Pulling my hair out, trying to figure out the math problem Miss Wormwood gave us. I deserve a break, right? I'd love to play with Mom's music box in the living room. We haven't seen Grandpa and Grandma for a long time. Mom says they'll probably come over from New York on her birthday. Hmm. You forgot your music box. Be careful with that, please, Munchkin. Where'd this come from? I already told you. Your grandma and grandpa gave it to me when I was little. Doesn't look like it's from New York, though. I don't know. Must have been in the family forever. I just love it. You've always liked it. Ever since you were little. Will you give it to me when I'm big? Maybe, if you're a good girl, when I get old. So when will that be then? Later, Katie.
But when? In a very, very long time, I guess. When I'll be gone. <gasps> Dear Kate, wherever you are now, despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time. Oh, give it a rest, Olivia. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time. Oh, give it a rest, Olivia. What the hell? You want me to call you Olivia? Fine. I've survived worse criticism. I shouldn't put it off. I better call Olivia while I have the courage. think you are, Olivia Foster. It's easy to judge and lecture me from New York. You know nothing about what I've gone through, of what I've had to endure since leaving Hans. This is not the time to surf the web. If I don't call Olivia now, I never will. should be so nervous about making a simple phone call. I mean, hey, I've crossed Europe, been in all sorts of danger, and yet look at me here. I'm worrying about talking to my former best friend. <laughs> oh, and I think I used to spend my life on the phone gossiping with her. So what do I risk? Criticism? The one who missed her mother's funeral because she was breaking rocks at the bottom of a mine. In any case, Olivia hasn't stopped criticizing me ever since I left Valadelen on Hans Vorlberg's train. I'm the one who should be criticizing her. I mean, come on. Isn't she the one who took advantage of my absence to get her hooks into Dan? <laughs> now look at me, mulling over old grudges. That's exactly what I wanted to escape from when I decided to go with Hans in his train to Siberia. And then there was the departure with the Yukul tribe, their seasonal migration. Come on, Kate, for Christ's sake, stop procrastinating. Just make the darn call and get it over with. Mr. Canton, is that you? Who's there, please? Olivia. It's me, Kate. 
Kate? Gee, it's so weird to hear your voice after all these years. Got your letter, Olivia. Uh, Kate, I sent it two years ago. I know. Things have been... complicated. Complicated? I see. And so when are you coming back to New York? You know, to visit your mother's grave? You know I can't come back, Olivia. I'm still wanted by the police over the sale of the Vorlberg factory. Oh, I haven't forgotten. Believe me. If only you knew how much the accusations hurt your mother. Visits from the police, the requisitions, and just when she was diagnosed, too. And yet, the poor woman never stopped hoping that her daughter would come back one day. Or at least call to help her in her final days. I'm calling precisely because I do care. It's just that ever since Katusha's death and escaping from the mine, well, things have been, yeah, complicated. And then there's, there's the woman in the painting, Dana. Wh what are you talking about, Kate? Just, just listen to yourself. None of what you're saying makes any sense. Olivia, please. <sighs> Kate, I, ugh. Okay, listen to me. I thought. You had plenty of time to think about how you abandoned all of us. Me, your mother, Dan, or even that poor Mr. Canton. And maybe felt at least some remorse. But I guess I was dreaming. All you do is keep chasing castles in the sky and ignore those who care about you. I get why you're mad. Do you think I'm not mad at myself? Well, I hope so. But there's nothing I can do now to change what happened. It's over, Olivia. All I have now is the woman in the painting. Oh, Kate. I should have known. And I should never have asked you to call me. Goodbye, Kate. I hope you find whatever it is you've been looking for these past three years. One thing's for sure, though. You wanted to be alone. And that's how you're going to stay. Okay, let's go, kiddo. Another day, another page. A new day in Wagen. I must take the tram to that music academy where Dana Rose was a student in the 1930s. With a bit of luck, they'll have kept her records.
Demoiselle Lenny told me the Music Academy is near the Musical Square. Maybe Frau Wagner can tell me more. Ah, oh, hello, Miss... Ah, oh, Miss Walker, did you sleep all right? Ah, uh, fine, thanks. Now, is there anything you need? I'd like to go to the Music Academy. Can you tell me how to get there? You just need to take the tram northbound to the Musical Square. Is there anything I should know about the Academy? To tell the truth, it's a little glum nowadays. Especially when you think it was once the jewel of the town. Where students came from all over the world to perform on the Musical Square, you know. <sighs> Pity. It's since lost its panache of old, through lack of students and means. Everything seems to link the person I'm looking for with the Second World War and the rise of the Brown Shadow. Terrible times were those, my dear. Especially when Wagen was occupied after the annexation of Ostertal. Thank God I was born just after the liberation. I see. But I guess you had to grow up with the after-effects of those events. Oh yes, dear. There was a kind of conspiracy of silence where everyone suspected each other, even their close friends. Did any of them collaborate with the enemy? And if so, was it through like-mindedness or simple cowardice? Were they responsible in one way or another for the arrest or death of a family member? I must have been awful. A terrible time, really. Well, the person I'm looking for is from the same generation. <sighs> You'll just have to hope she managed to survive the madness then. I went to the Zilberspiegel Refuge yesterday. Oh, magnificent. I won't disagree with that, Miss Walker. Those mountains are the pride of the town, just like old Lenny. Lenny is highly respected in Wagen because she was a resistance fighter during World War II, right? Well, I heard about it when I was at the refuge. Lenny Renner might be a grumpy old spinster, but to us, she's still a heroine. <laughs> Pity the same can't be said of her father, though. Still, everyone has their cross to bear, as they say. What do you mean? No point gossip-mongering. The war was a dark time in Wagen for everyone, see? Best not stir up old memories. Well, I, I guess I should get going. Thank you for your time, Frau Wagner. Feel free to ask if you have any more questions.
put me down! Oscar? Bet you can't catch it! Don't you dare! Put it down! Right now! Alright then. Oscar! <laughs> Are you alright? I had a bit of a bumpy ride, but I am glad to see you, Kate Walker. Oscar, oh, I've missed you so much. I say, this display of emotion is most unreasonable, Kate Walker. I do hope you don't plan such profusion every time I change bodies. It's just that I've been worrying about you. Where were you, Oscar? Well, the mechanical instinct of my host took me for a ride. All across town. It took me the whole night to tame it. And that's when I bumped into those little rascals. <laughs> yeah, lucky I was in the area, huh? Quite. So, Kate Walker, what has happened since we parted at the Balaton River? Maybe we should just sit down for a second, Oscar. This, this might take a while. And that's when Demoiselle Lenny gave me the address of the Music Academy in this neighborhood. I see, Kate Walker. You must think I'm crazy, huh? Running after that girl, Dana, who must have died ages ago. Well, Kate Walker, you know I have difficulty understanding illogical thought patterns. But in the end, what I do understand is that you need to find her. Is that correct, Kate Walker? Yes, that is correct, Oscar. I'm glad you're taking it so well. I don't see any fundamental difference between crossing Europe in search of mammoths, traveling on ostriches in an irradiated zone, or following your double. These are not things an automaton such as I take into consideration. Any other thoughts, Oscar? Well, I guess I could ask you where we are heading, but truth be told, it doesn't really matter. I will follow you wherever you lead, and for as long as you require my services, Kate Walker. That's what an automaton does. Thank you, Oscar. Oh dear, I hope you're not going to become physical, are you? No, I was just going to give you a pat on the back. I would rather you refrain from having such thoughts. I am not a dog, you know. Whatever next. Anyway, we'd better get going, Oscar, and you'd better keep out of sight. <sighs> Oh dear, I don't suppose I have any choice. I'm so glad he's back. I'm counting on you to transplant my mechanical heart as soon as we come across an XZ-2000 automaton. Is it really necessary for me to be shut up in here, Kate Walker? Sorry, Oscar, but I don't want to run the risk of losing you again. Victims of the genocide committed by the fascists during the Second World War. Oh, so many deaths. I hope Dana made it through.
strange. I can't open it like this. It looks like it's been mechanically sealed. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to open it directly. I only know Dana as a waitress at the refuge, and yet everything seems to fit with her here. Not hard to imagine her coming here to the Music Academy to study. And who knows, maybe Leon waited for her outside one day as a surprise after returning from his Baltayar expedition. Wow. Pity I don't have time for some sightseeing. In your opinion, Oscar, who can I ask to get Dana's file? I think I saw a bell on the reception desk. The right person will no doubt come and assist us. So that's the famous Wagen Music Academy? It's not what I was expecting. Guten Tag! What now? If you're from the council, you can come back when I'm not so busy. Oh, sorry, you startled me. <sighs> so, now what do you want, council minion? I'm not from the council. I'm, I'm just a visitor here. I came because I was hoping to look at the file of a student from the 1930s. Oh. I'm... I'm sorry. I, uh... It's just that I haven't time for digging up old files from 70 years ago. I have way too much to do here, you understand. I can tell you're a little overwhelmed. Where's the rest of the staff? Or, or maybe a student could show me. You are standing in front of the Rector, and the only employee of this academy. My name is Maximilian Mahler, and it falls upon me to manage everything on the premises. The maintenance, the archiving, and the lot before we close next month. So, if you don't mind... 
I'm very sorry to hear that the Academy is closing, and I can see you're extremely busy, but I've come such a long way to see it. I'd be so grateful if you could locate it. It's really important to me. And so is this place. Important to me, too. And I would love to hear the mechanical orchestra play one last time before the Academy closes. But, alas, I can't, can I? Uh, unless, uh... Unless what? Well, um, you know. Okay, so you're suggesting that you'll only get me the file if I get that mechanical orchestra going? Is that it? Well, Herr Mahler, that's called blackmail. No, young lady. We call that. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Otherwise, we all might as well live on islands, don't you think? Okay, I'll give it a try. Believe it or not, I have seen mechanisms like the one on the square before. Well, in that case, I promise to give you the file in return for your services. <laughs> Thanks. But I must warn you that the square has undergone some transformations over the years, and some parts of the mechanism may be difficult to get to. Don't worry, I'll make myself thin and slide between the cracks. You'll find some of them scattered around the square, and some of the others you'll find in the clock tower. Now, if you'll excuse me for a second, what are you... Now, uh, what is the name of that student you're interested in? Rose. Dana Rose. And what were the years she attended our illustrious academy? In the 30s. 1937, to be precise. Oh. And here it is. And here you will find the annual inspection reports of the mechanisms by Frau Beckman. Frau Beckman? She was the rectoress of the academy during the years you spoke of. These are from 1937. <laughs> you see, I have a marvelous memory regarding archives. <laughs> this is why I have chosen Frau Beckman's. Because there's something in here regarding that Edna Droz you spoke of. Dana. Dana Rose. Uh, quite. You will also find some sheet music with annotations. This is the Hymn of Bargain, which you must play on the piano on the square in order to activate the Orchestra of Automations. Once you have fixed the mechanisms, of course. All right then, here you go. What are you waiting for? This sheet music corresponds to the piano part for the hymn of Wagen. Someone's added annotations. They could help me play the hymn on the piano on the square, like the rector asked me to. Someone's added annotations. They could help me play the hymn on the piano on the square, like the rector asked me to. Hmm. I wonder what it's supposed to represent. The report that the Rectoress of the Academy filled in with the help of Dana back in the 30s. According to the present Rector, I should find all the information I need to repair the mechanisms on the square. Music Academy Inspection Report, October 12, 1937. Today, I was due to inspect the musical mechanisms that enable students to give a public display of their talent and enable us to showcase the quality of our teaching to the people of our beautiful town. Like every year, I needed a volunteer from our students to help me during the inspection. And this year's choice was obvious. 
I'm fine, really. Well, you're looking off color, darling, and on edge. No, it's just that... It's just that I haven't heard from Leon since he left with the Origin Expedition from Kantar. And also, I... Well, we've got company. You'll tell me later, Dana, darling. Meantime, be good and stay safe. You too, Yunta. Is everything all right? You look under the weather. We don't want one of our best and brightest to fall ill now, do we? Thank you for asking, Frau Beckmann, but I'm just a little tired, that's all. And who was that lady? Um, just a friend. I met this summer. You do keep some surprising company, Fräulein Rose. Anyway, I have something for you that will take your mind off things. Oh? Would it interest you to see the mechanisms that enabled you to perform so brilliantly here last spring? That would be wonderful. Good. Come and join me at the kiosk when you have a moment. But don't be too long, though. See Fräulein. Incredible. Isn't it just? You see these flags? Each mechanism housing for each musical automaton on the square is represented by one of these flags. Fascinating. Today is the day they are being serviced. Each mechanism has been inspected by an academy maintenance man. In theory, they are all functional. But if you like, you can go and see these maintenance men on my behalf and fetch back their respective reports. You would be doing me a big favor, as I have to inspect the piano in the kiosk. And also, it will give you a chance to take a peek at each of the automaton mechanisms. Thank you very much for choosing me for this task, Frau Beckmann, but why me? Consider it a reward for being one of the best students of the Academy. And it looks to me like you need something to take your mind off your worries. Now, take this. You'll need it to open the maintenance room that leads to the most impressive mechanism of all, that of the clock tower. Thank you, Frau Beckmann. Do you have any questions before you go? Do you know who built the mechanical orchestra? My father told me it didn't exist when he was young. They were built by a strange young French inventor by the name of Borrelberg some years ago. From what I heard, he was visiting Wagen while en route to the east, just after the huge fire that destroyed the town. He was moved by the legend of Vera Schonberg, that virtuoso who died in the fire. So he offered his talents to rebuild the city and create the mechanical orchestra. When the mechanical orchestra played along with me last spring, it was incredible. But how does it manage to play at the same tempo as the piano? It was almost like in a dream. Oh, it wasn't dream work, Fräulein, but clockwork. The piano is connected to the mechanism that you are going to inspect and the hymn of Wagen played on the keys. That's what sets the rhythm and the intensity of the performance. And that's what triggers everything else. What happened to Vera Schönberg? My mother always says it's the saddest story. And she's right. You probably know that Vera Schonberg was Wagen's most famous musician at the beginning of the century. But her legend was truly born the night she performed a cello concerto right here on the square. 
It was also the night of the worst fire in Wagen's modern history. And Frau Schönberg, she... She died in the fire, right? She did. As well as all the other musicians and the entire audience. They were surrounded by flames, trapped on this square. How dreadful. Dreadful indeed. But according to the legend, Vera Schonberg kept playing Wagen's hymn until the very end. She understood they were all doomed to die, and her music brought them peace of mind during their last moments. This automaton you played with last spring was created in her image as a final tribute. I had no idea. Well, now you know all about the legend of Vera Schonberg. Was there something else, Fraulein Rose? I'll go and see the maintenance team. Good. Thank you, Fraulein. According to Frau Beckmann, it opens the maintenance room just next to the clock tower. <laughs> 